Welcome to the UFC 229 Press Conference from the iconic Radio City Music Hall in New York, New York. First to the stage, he's back. Two-weight world champion, Irish megastar, the notorious one, Conor McGregor. October 6th, live and on pay per view, McGregor will face undefeated 26 0 Russian superstar, the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Habib Nurmagomedov. All right, what's up, everybody? Thanks for coming. Uh, just to remind you, UFC 229, Habib versus McGregor is sold out, but it is live on pay-per-view. Who has the first question? Thank you guys for, for coming out today. Uh, first question for Connor. Last time you were in the UFC against Eddie Alvarez, you were talking about things like ownership stakes in the UFC. What was if the I was an owner and I was part of the promotion, I would have had a fucking fans in this arena. Where's the fucking fans at? That's who we fight for. That's who pays the bills. That's who deserves this show. Bring me all over the fucking world and we're just sitting here in a fucking thing. I'm on probation up to me eyeballs and ongoing and incoming civil cases. And, and we come here to do this bullshit. Bring the fans here. Here we are. You just wanted a war. Here we fucking are. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's get a war going. Fucking all this sort of stupid shit. But I mean, hey, I didn't get what I asked. So here we are. What was the process to get you back in the octagon, and why was it this particular fight? I came back for the love of this, to come and shut this man up. A little rat, a little weasel, a little hard man in groups. I've met many of them through my years. A man who grows in numbers, but on, on his own and when confronted in a similar situation, cowers away. And that's what you saw with that little shite on the bus over there. He shit his jocks after, after doing something to a, his own country man uh, that had nothing got to do with anything. And, and that's it. I came back for the love of fighting and the love of war. And this, I am going to truly, truly love putting a bad, bad beating on this little glass jaw rat. Habib, uh, there was a time where, where you and Connor were pretty cordial with each other, almost friendly. Fanboy. The man was a fanboy. He bought T-shirts of mine. He fucking supported the cause. You remember that? You little fanboy. You little fanboy bitch. He bought T-shirts to support the cause. Nothing but respect. And then, and then uh, uh, over on his neck of the woods, a man involved in something who was actually, who's now in prison, but Vladimir Putin locked him up for embezzling uh, 150 million worth of money from the Russian, Russian people, started to invest and pump money into his gym. So he started to grow in power, started, started to gain this false power and started thinking he was a little hard man, tough guy. Then she hit the fan with your man. He gets locked up and now there's not a being left. And now here I am to put the nail in the coffin. That's how it began. He was a fanboy, thought he was a little hard man after a while with some money like many people do. Money and numbers. Now the money's gone. The numbers are still there, but trust me, his, his own countrymen, his own people that he's, that he's turned his back on, they want to see him gone too. And I am going to do it in the name of the Russian people. Habib, do you have any response to what Connor just said? This is everything what I expect. In, in terms of what, what, what did you expect? Like what, what the truth, because that's all I talk. Truth. What are you talking about? That's all I talk. Truth. 
Uh, I'm come here for smash this guy. Smash me, talk. mate. I, smash I, I me. Wanna, here, wanna, smash me. You say send your lo send location. Here he is, right here in front of you. I'm right in front of you. Did you not see me at the outside the bus? No. Did you not see me right in front of you outside the fucking bus? I showed you my hands. No weapons. The first thing I when I showed up at that bus, I showed not my hands to let it know I come here unarmed. No weapons. Step off the bus. You talk the big game. Now I'm here. He done fucking nothing. He sat and took a shit on that bus. Hid, a hid and cowered behind fucking women and caused what happened to happen. So that's fucking that. Just for so here's my location, you little fool. Right in front of you. Do something about it. Do something about it. Yeah, you'll do nothing. Uh, just for Dana, why, why, why weren't there fans... Uh, why wasn't this open to the public Dead today at this press Morgan. conference? Instant What's that? Why, well, why we had problems in New York. I don't want any problems in New York today. Next question. Proper 12. <laughs> proper Irish whiskey from a proper Irish animal. That's what I'm talking about. We came here to have a buzz with this. I almost didn't get the glass. I almost didn't get the bottle into the arena. I anticipated that. I anticipated that they weren't going to let me in with my big bottle. So I had a little slurry bottle brought in. You know, you see how tricks up my back pocket all over the gaff. I also brought my own belts because I knew they wouldn't have my fucking belts up here. I'd love a glass, or a, not a glass, even a cup, something I could toast. With, with all these fine people here of my proper 12 Irish whiskey, if we could get that. If not, I'm probably gonna start drinking it out of a bottle. If the bottle gets empty, I don't know what I'll do to, with this man and an empty bottle. You know what I'm like. So please, someone in the back, get me a cup, a plastic cup, please. Thank you. All right. Or please don't. <laughs> <laughs> A plastic cup, <laughs> just a few sips. <laughs> but you have to taste it, mate. It's, it is the finest man-made Irish whiskey there is on the market. None of that danced on Jemison shit. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. <laughs> me own, me own employee. Good man, Davey boy. Good man. None of that danced on Jemmy shit no more. That's done. We only drink proper 12, they're pure. Question Go ahead, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, congratulations, uh, Dana, on everything. Khabib, uh, when you're fighting Connor, you're just not fighting Connor. UFC 223, I was there. It was awesome. Congratulations. I was also at UFC 205 when Connor won, and it was wild from a crowd standpoint. Um, how does this mindset affect you going into the fight that Connor brings, well, a fan base? You know, it's showing the boss's birthday. I, I, I'm not understanding. Here's a gargle for you, Dana. Proper 12. I, I, I'm not Proper understanding. Proper 12 on me. Hang joy, hang joy. Here. Yeah. Hang case, joy, just let me give him. I'm it's his birthday. I'm gonna go like yeah, show my the bus. last fight. Happy birthday, like, showing the bus. I, I don't drink. Why don't you drink? I don't drink. Why don't you drink? I never drink. I'll tell you, some bus are parties. I never drink. You're mad backwards, no. cunt. You're I dead when I get my hands on you, do you hear me? I never You're drink. You're fucking dead. I never drink. I'll drink it. Me and, me and, know, the, me and the Irish Boston animal, Dana White, the OG of the fight game. He'll shoot this bad boy. I think it's gonna be a long night for him. Ah, yes! He oh, Lord, shame me, that's he know tasty. This. He know this. Connor, a question for you. Fill in the blank. Connor McGregor. I'll drink his. Connor McGregor is going to blank Khabib when you guys meet each other. Stomp on his head as he's unconscious. There it is. <laughs> Next question. Connor, Matt Cole from Art Voice. Sorry, my hands are still shaking. Uh, you've assured yourself total privacy for this camp other than this press conference, which is different than previous fights. You're always 100% ready, but how has that preparation and that privacy changed how you feel now physically, emotionally? It's been a war zone in my camp. We have been preparing for war, so... I mean, all you gotta do is look at the images and the videography that we've released uh, through, through my team, McGregor Productions. We have released um, and shown glimpses, only glimpses of the true hard work that we've put in for this camp. Broken orbital bones, broken zygomatic arches, swallowed teeth, broken feet, broken fingers. This has been a war zone. We are coming for war. This fool is saying it's going to be a long night. Trust me, mate. I'm ready for a long night. You hold on to legs for dear life. That's how you fight. 
You talk chicken this, chicken that, you shit your, you shit your jokes when shit hit, came on top. But you actually fight like a little shitty jokes rat anyway. You die for the legs and hold on to them for dear life. What kind of, what kind of fighting is that? What kind of man, what kind of, what kind of way of, of, of fighting is that? Your little fake belt over there, you be a guy, a, a number 11 ranked, a, a real estate agent. And you, you, you bring that belt up on, on stage like, like it's a real belt. You're a phony. A fake, and I'm gonna expose you. Now you're up on the real shit, kid. You're with the real dogs now, brother, yeah? And you're gonna be smoked October 6th, live on pay per view. And I am gonna love every fucking second of it. I hope it's a long night. Next question. Connor, do you think he's gonna stand up with you for at least one round and swing it up? I don't give a fuck what he's gonna try and do. He's gonna, he's gonna be swinging. Wildly like he is, sloppy, shooting for the legs. He's an amateur. He's a 20, would you believe he's 26 and 0? I've never met a tw an, unbeaten, an unbeaten amateur in, in the professional game. I mean, he's fucking for nobody. Absolutely nobody. Anyone that he's half for has been decisions. He's in over his head. I'm going to pick him apart and bully him in there and absolutely maul him. And, and that's it. Khabib, is it, uh, is it difficult for you to maintain your composure in this situation when he's getting up, getting in your face? I stay relaxed, brother. I stay relaxed. I don't feel nothing. I know I have location. I stay on bus. Six. October. I stay on bus. Six October. Show yeah. in the bus. Like we talked before, like direct in Twitter. You remember this? When we talk. You remember when this? You bought me t shirts a little fat. Yeah, Listen, but, kid, don't be talking like to me about Twitter in 2012. No, no, no. Twitter's I have a question. Give me an Twitter. answer. Who's on Twitter, what, what's mate? What's wrong with Ask you? Ask my bollocks. No, no, no. I send you a message. We talk with you. Fuck your message. Yes, like F you. I don't type the blokes, yeah, mate. It's not my thing. But, okay, okay. It's not my thing to start typing the message, blokes. Like without everybody. What's it? Why? I'm right here, mate. I'm right here, pal. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight six of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope so. I hope so because if you pull out like you always do pull out, may God have mercy on your soul and trust me on that. You, you little pull out merchant. Sit down. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Okay. I don't want to talk, mate. I want to fight. I want to fight. When I slip your teammates, why you don't send me a message? Uh, ask my if you want to fix ask this, why you don't send a message? Bollocks. What? You come with 40 ask people my you bollocks. and you think you can if change you something? Got off that, if you would have got off that bus, you'd be dead now. No, okay. You'd be dead and no, I'd be in a cell. If so you want, shut your fucking mouth okay. messages. No, Do I look like a bloke that messages blokes? Do I look like a bloke but that messages you blokes? Hey, Fuck you! Everybody knows in media days, a lot of security. Of course I'm going to sit in bus with all red corners. Shit in bus! He comes with 40 I shit in bus! And you think he can change something? Okay, we talked with him before. Why he don't send message? Why? He can send me, hey, you have problem with my brother or teammate, something like this. You give him slap, now you have to give answer. Okay, I'm gonna come. He gonna send me, okay, one guy, two guys, ten guys, or alone. Doesn't matter. But why you come with 40 people? 100% you know I'm here is with alone or one guy, two guys. But you come with, you come with 40 people. But what 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 changed? Nothing. And six mate, October, six October, six October, we're gonna mate. see. You cornered, you cornered a, a friend of mine who had nothing got to do with anything, and another an, an Islam, a Chechen man who had nothing got to do with anything, slapped him and abused him on foreign no, soil. No, your own people, no, your little rat. No. It's like me going over no, and seeing okay, an Irish man going about his work, him. and you're you you going over and, 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 and seeing an Irish man over in England, let's say, and no. me with yeah. What are you talking about no, with no. numbers? Okay. You were you were surrounded by about 40 40 of your teammates. Many of them hooded. No, many, of, many of them had no the hotel. They had to be chased you out of the hotel. Him. You can ask him. Yeah, right, why right, you don't mate, ask him? Right, mate, right, okay, why right, you don't right, ask right, him? Right. Whatever, kid. I okay. couldn't give a bollocks. When, when, when the person you were looking for showed up, you took a shit on the back of a bus. So shut your fucking mouth. Okay, but why you don't ask your friend, eh? When someone gives you a slap, you have to give him back. What happened? If if we got Adam knows okay. what he should have okay, done, he no, should have no, no. stitched you a load, okay, took no, his no, new clothes and got out listen. of there. Doesn't matter. No, that doesn't matter. Ten no, people, all good. All two good, guys. Pal. If all someone good. slept, you it's not got to, to do with him. It's not got to do with your old teammates. It's got to do with me and you. It's got to do with me and you, kid. It's got to do with me and you. Say who is a bollocks? Here I am. Here I am. Let's have a knock, mate. Why? Let's have a knock, mate. Okay. Let's have a knock, mate. You're afraid of a slap. It's left. You're afraid of a slap. Why you don't give him a slap? You have to fight. If you lose, we're gonna come. What, 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 what's wrong with him? What's wrong with your team? They everybody eat the same now. One night they everybody eat, eat slept. And next day, like when, I, when we have to the go to press conference, you have to come to me, he say, hey, you can go with only one guy. 
You can go with only one guy. Okay, I'm gonna go, but I don't expect oh, 10 people, 40 people, 30 people gonna come. If they come all week, we move with, with our own bus, with all my friends, with everybody. And UFC, UFC told me, hey, you guys have to go with one guy. Okay, I go, they come with 40 people. What changed? Nothing. But he have to ask his friend why he eats slab. He have to ask him. If you think he man, he have to ask him. This is what I think. Next um, question. <laughs> so Connor, you've been away for uh, nearly two years. People had speculated, even Dana had said, there's a shot you might retire because of how much money you made from the, uh, the fight with Mayweather. Are you happy to be back? This is called prize fighting. But thankfully, I'm such a crafty individual with my, with my other entities and my entire game as a whole that I don't actually... I'm going to put him back to box. Ma, 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 ma. I'm going to put, put him back to box. The bang is shy off you, hey, mate. You have to fight only box yeah, because you cannot come, come back here. compete with high-level guys I don't guys have to wrestling. fight for money you no know. more. Thank the Lord. You Jesus You fight with small Christ. guys in fight I don't have to fight and for money no more. I have made so much to my other entities. What are you talking about? Your wrestling is zero. Your grappling is zero. Stall it down, I'm going to mow you. Let's wrestle, kid. Let's, let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. Six October, let's, let's wrestle. wrestle. Let's wrestle. Yeah, yeah, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're going to be wrestling my knuckle out of your orbital bone. After this fight, after box. this fight, you're going to go to the back to box. From the boxing, I made a hell of a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, I could have retired from the I know, I know, you come here for money. Mate, I'm talking I come to here the for legacy. reporter, will you get hey, that? I come here for here legacy, you come for money. Smelly show bag. You come for money, I come for legacy. Uh, I have money. This I is don't different. Need, this I is don't, different. Why wait, you, you took money from no, Magomedov? Hold on, you took of money. Of course. You took money course. from Magomedov and you were a yes. little lick ass rat. No, now I what? Talk. Putin locked him up. I what? Talk. Say something to Putin about locking Magomedov up. Of, 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 say of, something. Say, ask, ask, him, ask him to I release him again. Ask him, ask him to release him. Oh, you, oh, now you don't understand. You no, mad rat. Talk about money. You don't do this. You don't do that. You're a fake lying rat. A fake lying. I'm real. I wear it on my chest. There's a gorilla on my chest. I wear it proud me. You don't lie about nothing. You're saying it's not about money, it's not about legacy. You're a lying bastard. When money got pumped into your camp by that little scumbag that's now in a little no, April 10 cell, really you thought you were a don. Now I look really at you. Now look at you there. Stay and now not a being. And you haven't got a washer. If you have no questions. money left. <laughs> if you have questions, <laughs> But anyway, unshave a life, hey, you and look this like clown. beautiful, you look like foreign clown. bottle Sit of fucking and Irish and whiskey if you is going to dominate the game. Jameson Stop is close. Stop your bullshit this whiskey is a, here, This is a direct competitor to Jameson. I am coming to take over the whiskey business. Look at the noise it has made. This is a true, true beast I have in my possession here. I do not fight for the prize. I did not begin fighting for the prize. I began to fight because I loved it. That's that's why I'm here now, because I love this game. I don't have to be here. I, I, I am set for life. Even without this, I'm set for life. From the last match, I'm set for life. Okay, what are you I'm doing sorted here? now. What are you doing I'm here, here to why enjoy come here? this. Why are you coming here? Because I'm going to love. At 6th October, I'm gonna love 6th October what are you going to do? Your this is I'm not stomping on this your This is head. not about And if you pull out a fight, I'm going to love I'm going to mow you. If you pull out a fight, I'm going to love what happens to you, your family, and your team even more on your own soil. I'm going to love that even more so you you just you just show up to this fight and we do this the noble way pull out and then you know what's going to happen to you back home kid so that's all i'll say about what's that gonna i'm here what's for the joy happen? to enjoy what's gonna it. happen to enjoy it. what's gonna happen what's gonna happen tell me what's next gonna question happen? all right that's no we don't need question we have to talk with him i have a couple question him hey you ask your friend why he eat slept you ask him you have to ask him you have to ask him Go ahead, sir. Ask these nuts. I don't have to do nothing for nobody. I'm psycho bred me. I don't have to nit lick no one's arsehole for a check like fucking you. Go ahead, sir. All right. <laughs> uh, Connor, you've been away for two years, has been said. There's been uh, some criticism. Uh, Michael Bisping said uh, on his podcast about your wrestling training heading into this fight. Where do you feel your training is right now, especially with your wrestling going up against Khabib? He's also been blasting your wrestling as well. I am very, very well coached. My coaching team, Coach John Kavanagh, he has coached me very well. We are ready for this. My wrestling coach, Sergey Pekulski, my striking coaches, my conditioning coaches on the McGregor Fast program. We are ready here. We are ready for war. We are ready for all outcomes, all situations, all scenarios. 
supreme, supreme confidence you are looking at here. So we're going to go out and enjoy this contest on October 6th because, again, that's all I'm doing it for because I fucking love it. Don't have to deal with what I was. It's just because I love it. That's it. You really think you're going to enjoy with me? I'm going to love it. Next question. Connor, you mentioned the money that you made from your boxing experience. Is there anything else from fighting Mayweather that you've been able to bring back to your MMA preparations? Of course. It was a, it was a great match, a great boxing match where I got to, uh, you know, when you have a, a fight that long, 30, 30 minutes, my longest contest that was. Um, I learned some things, of course. You take with you from every fight. You learn and grow. So um, I was very happy with the experience as a whole. And, of course, you'll see on October 6th the lessons I have learned. Next question. Uh, Khabib, uh, Floyd Mayweather issued a warning to you saying that Conor doesn't fear anyone. What do you say to Floyd Mayweather? I am the Floyd Mayweather in MMA. Ma, 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 ma. Ma, 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 ma. Shut your mouth, mate. You're a door box. You're absolutely dirt. You just your last fight was embarrassing. Your last fight right now, was right now, embarrassing. I am most We were active. laughing in the Brooklyn locker room. We were laughing in the right cell now. in Brooklyn. Edgy. This is my third fight in the last Shoy nine point. month. You know, and 26 and all, never lose round. And I don't know what this guy talking about. I don't understand what he's going to do 6 October. He think whiskey going to help him? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, yes. N next question. Uh, Khabib, uh, Connor says he's ready for your ground... Um, for your ground game, what have, what have you seen out of uh, what Connor can do? On the I have ground? a question for you. What do you think? I'm not the fighter. You are. What have you no, seen what out do of you Connor's think? ground game? <laughs> I think I'm going to make him tired and after play with him. Because when he's tired, he always give up. He don't like. He's like, he's like, when you go to the, he, he moved to box and he tap there. You know, like, you know, like. When someone punch you like 10. You tap the bus window, kid. You tap the bus window. You tap the bus window. Three times. You tap the little stop that stops the bus. You tap four times. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You tap three. You tap three, four times. You tap four times. So what? I'll tap your head off the canvas, kid. You tap like chicken four times. I'll tap your head off the canvas. Next question. Gentlemen. Habib. Assalamu alaikum. And uh, Connor, congrats on uh, proper 12. Thank you, sir. Could we uh, get an official prediction on the fight? Uh, you cannot say salam alaikum and congrats about whiskey. Ooh, slap him then. Do something about it. What are you going to do about that? Is that the disrespect in here? Do something then, I just shut your mouth. Fucking fool you. Let's, uh, let's Backwards back, cunt. Thanks, Connor. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Assalamu alaikum alada. From the two of you, could we get an official prediction on the fight? Domination. His head bouncing off the canvas. All his pony talk is going to be fucking put on blast October 6th. Do you have a round in mind? As long as it takes. I believe one. He's a glass jaw. The Chechens, the Chech my Chechen friends, the Vainaki soldiers, they told me that they have chicken jaws in Dagestan. And I believe them because I know a glass jaw when I see one. And I've seen this man wobble many times. I've seen his brother sparked unconscious in another promotion. I know he is afraid of a smack. And if you're afraid of a smack off me, a smack will feel like a double barrel shotgun. So I believe the inside the force. But... I have been wrong before. I will be prepared for five rounds. You're looking at a fighting veteran. I've came through it all. I've been through it all. I've been on both sides of the world. I've been on the boxing side and I've been on this side. I'm ready for any occurrence. But this man is a glass jaw bomb. And I'm going to shatter him like that glass was shattered. May God have mercy on its soul on October 6th. Khabib, do you have a prediction? Next question. Assalamu alaikum, Ayada. Jeffrey here first. Khabib, your last fight, you had a opponent changed right before you in, and I mean... They were not in cunt. And that fight right there was a very hard fight for you. This fight you got right here in front of you, what are you going to do different on this fight? When last time, like, when someone fight for the belt, judges give score 50-43. When? You remember this? And you talk about this was like a hard fight for me? 
The guy came in. He went in for you. He yeah. went the full distance with yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. He went what? The he went distance. the full distance. He went the full distance with you, he said. See that belt you have on your lap there? The one that you're proudly pre uh, representing. Okay. When I won that guy. belt, I sparked I the guy inside guy. two rounds, dominate him, he dropped him three times in the first round. I don't think Madison Square Garden, nobody. the home and of the champ know. champ. He's good. He's a tough guy. And I think he can beat a lot of guys in top 10, you know. And he already beat, you know. And about decision, but I win every round, you know. I win every round and I take my belt. You have a question? For Connor, two years you haven't been active in Octagon. This one right here is going to be a hell of a war for you. Yes, we are ready. How are you getting ready for this? What, I am in a state of, I am in a war state of mind. That's how I'm getting ready. Every training session is a war zone. So we are ready. Thank you so much. Two years, you are correct. Two years outside of the UFC's octagon. Not two years outside of the fighting octagon because I fight every day of my life. There's something going on somewhere on planet Earth involving me and something, something else or, or someone else. So um, I am ready. We have put a lot of hard work in, into this camp and we are coming to, towards the final stages of preparation now. So we are looking forward to showcasing to the world what I have learned through my boxing venture and through uh, re my return to MMA with, with the lessons from this boxing venture. And then just as, as a growing fighter that has uh, gained more experience. We are very excited to showcase what we've learned. Hey, Dana. Yep. How you doing, man? Good. Uh, thank you for uh, making this fight happen. And uh, thank you for bringing the UFC to, uh, back to New York for UFC 230. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. <laughs> um, was this a, the original plan for the main event for UFC 230 before obviously what happened in April? Like the fiasco with Connor and Habib and the, with New York State? What, what was, was what planned? Was this going to No, be... no. Not at all? No. Okay. And uh, we just heard the news yesterday about John Jones. He's el eligible to compete after uh, October 28th. UFC 230, like I just said, is November 3rd. Uh, is it possible that we're going to see uh, John Jones on that main event? He will not be on that main event. 100% no? 100% no. Okay, wow. Well. And uh, Connor, this question's for you. Uh, looking forward to UFC 230. Um, how do you see Nate Diaz versus the Dustin Poirier fight going? I think it's going to be a great fight. Two amazing fighters. Nate Diaz as tough as they come. Dustin Poirier took that loss on the chin and came back and has showcased a good mental strength and has had some great phenomenal fights and wins inside the octagon. Inside the octagon. I'm very, very much looking forward to it. Um, we'll see what happens after. So I wish both men the best of luck and we'll see. Just for Dana real quick, uh, the decision to put the Connor uh, bus incident from Brooklyn into the promos for, for this fight, what was that decision like? Was that tough? Was there any consideration about not doing that? No, no, I hope. No. Not tough at all. It's, it's part of the storyline. It is what it is. There's been other situations where things have happened leading up to a fight and you play the story the way that the story played out. Connor, you thought, you thought it should have been in there in the promos? No comment. When, uh, when you're in that situation that everyone has, has now seen on video multiple times, what's, what's going through your head? You're in that loading dock. You have a, a doll in your hand. What's, what's going I through? just thank the Lord Jesus Christ that that man had not got the balls to step foot off, so, off that bus. Because trust me, or that the bus door did not open. Because if that bus door had have opened, this man would be dead right now. He would be in a box, and I would be in a cell. And we would not have this great fight ahead of us. So there are many things I, I, I can speak on about that incident, and about the lead up, and about my emotions, and things like that. But there are still many ongoing situations involved in it. So. I'm just here to compete on October 6th in Las Vegas, Nevada, the T-Mobile Arena, live on pay-per-view, UFC 229, in association with McGregor Sports and Entertainment and Proper 12 Irish Whiskey. And that's it. Uh, Habib, same question. You're on the bus and you see all this going on. What, what is going through your head? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. You know, this is show his weakness. He showed me his weakness. He think when he, with 40 people... I showed you my bare hands. First okay. thing. Okay, I'm... Uh, Here's my hands. Like... No weapons. 
205. Get off the bus, mate. Okay, 205. You've talked you all this remember? talk. When You're we doing all these actions. Backstage. Here I am with no bu- uh, with no. With, he with was a no very way. nice guy. With no, he was uh, very nice no guy, weapons. But when he comes with 40 people, he a little bit changed. But this is show his weakness. Me and him is going to be alone. 6th October. And, and that's it. Last thing for me, Habib. Uh, was your father able to get a visa into, into the United States for, for this fight? Mm, I don't know. Still, I think still working on it? Still work, but I think maybe no. Smell a show you off your dad. Connor had uh, written an Instagram post about your dad calling him a coward. Did that, did that affect you in any way? Most important is 6th October. Now he can talk whatever he want. He cannot talk, I know. And um, 6th October is most important. For me, it's most important the 6th October. When cage closed, we're going to watch. The Chechen people know what we're I'm talking about it. when I call this man a coward. When I call this father oh. a quivering coward. Which, which Chechen? The, him and Kadyrov were at a mosque together. And he posts a picture of Kadyrov on his Instagram site. Kadyrov is the Chechen dictator, a, a, a crazy man, don't get me wrong. But K- Khabib's father, lick arse, lick arse of fucking Hulahan. Posts a picture of Kadyrov at this mosque. And, he, and, and Khabib's father posts a picture up and... The caption is, together we are stronger. It, it, it's, it's such fake respect out of fear. No, it's, no, it's, no. Uh, the Chechens You're... know, the Chechen people know that if the tables were turned and there was an opportunity for his father to stab that man in the back, he would do it in a heartbeat to take over. And he did not do nothing. And that's why he is a quivering coward, because he showed fake respect out of fear. And that's where that came from. I don't know what his father teach him, but my father teach me, you cannot never give up and be respect always. This is what my father teach me. And I never give up and I always yeah, the, that, the father but wasn't even in the picture. His father. It was just a pic- I don't want to just in the same location. It was like, I hope I don't I bump into you, pal. Because, you know, I hope I don't bump into and, you, sir. Uh, but together we guy, are stronger. We, just gonna please teach don't. Him a bit. Just sort me out, please. Help me. Fake respect. And then I know how I like to talk with my opponents. I'm going to talk with him, teach him, like give him a little bit master class. Uh, thank you, uh, Michael Regan here from uh, West Cork. Uh, hello to Connor, and uh, congratulations on the whiskey. We had a bottle of it last night. How and did you get on? Because we I know I'm a salesman. Uh, I'll sell you upside down the head. We, we were drinking it until 4 o'clock. At the yes. Sh- the Shannon Bar in Hobo. Yes. <laughs> Up the Shannon Bar. Yeah. Up the Shannon Bar. I'll be there tonight if you're looking for me. <laughs> uh, 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 question for Khabib. Uh, just the World Cup final, you're in the stands, stereo up at Connor. Uh, with President Putin having the meal, etc. How did that feel? Uh, it was a great match, you know, and uh, how I feel? I don't feel nothing, you know, because I never want to take picture with someone. doesn't matter. It's President Are you, Biden, are you disrespecting someone? your no. President Vladimir Putin? No, why not? Are you disrespecting no. your president, Vladimir no. Putin? No. Then what do you mean by that? No. I don't want to take picture with him. What, what do you mean by that then? What? Explain what, what, what do you mean. Are you what? disrespecting okay, your I'm gonna president? Explain. Sit, sit. <laughs> I'm going to explain. Okay. Fake rat. About, like I about said, picture. fake respect out of fear. Okay. That's about all these picture. men are known for. They were chased about. from their land. They were chased from their land to the edge of cliffs. My family, my bloodline, the McGregor clan, we stood and we fought. We fought the English Empire, so much so that we, our name was banished for 100 years by King James at the time. Okay, okay, why, why you this guys change your language? Shoot okay, your you, mouth. You guys have shoot your own your language. Mouth. What's wrong with you? Now you're talking about you, you I'm guys fight with English Empire. I'm a what what happened with your your language? Language? Hey, talk English. I can speak yeah, Irish, mate. I can, I can, I can speak my native okay, tongue. I'm a I can go, talk with you. I'm a Russia, Russia, English, 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 Arabic. I'm a I can talk with you. Oh. 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 I can talk with you. Oh. Oh. You know what that means? Can I have a show hey, you on the bus? But you, <laughs> but Ireland have their own language. What's wrong? English change your language. Now you talk we with. We want to crack open that bottle. Yeah. So now we're either getting his face now off. Now you gone. talk English. I didn't know that was there. What's but wrong with your English? Me lane fucking problem that more English. You mad rat? All right, we got we got time for one more question. Dana, Darren. Please don't antagonize anybody. Uh, Dana is proper whiskey an official sponsor of UFC 229. It is. It is. Double, 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 double
that. You bet your bollocks it is. It's on their canvas. And con- it's on their canvas. Look, his blood will be on their canvas. October 6th. Let's get this face off, Dom. I'm wrapped up now. And thanks for coming, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Let's go.